And I like how they focus more on Phil too. I thought they were gonna focus more on Melissa mm -mm. from the trailer. No, they, like, they made more Buddy Cop, but it was, it was his story. Right. So. They didn't make that Godzilla slash Transformers mistake of yeah. focusing too much on what the gimmick isn't, which yeah. is the people. They, the puppets are the gimmick. <laughs> make it about the puppets. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Blaze Reviews. We're bringing you all the latest movie reviews from a higher perspective. I'm Kay. and I'm Aidan Riff. And today, we took a hit of the latest Henson puppet production movie directed by one of Jim Henson's kids himself, Brian Henson, and that movie being The Happy Time Murders. This movie features Melissa McCarthy, Elizabeth Banks, Maya Rudolph, Bill Beretta, and a lot of horny puppets, it seemed like. Yeah. <laughs> and it takes place in an alternate reality world where puppets are considered second-class citizens. Yeah. And Bill Beretta's character, Phil Phillips, he is a former detective, and now he must team up with his former partner, played by Melissa McCarthy, whose name is Edwards, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. And they try to solve a string of murders that they believe is connected, involving people murdering puppets. So, first thing I think I should tell you about this movie is that it is not a Muppets movie. It's puppets in the movie, yes. And, and it's the Hanson people team. who are behind Muppets yeah. or have to do with it, but it's not for children, it's not a Muppets <laughs> film. Yeah. Like I heard a whole bunch of people in the line talking about, oh yes, yeah, it's Kermit and stuff gonna be in here. And I'm like, no, sorry to burst your bubble. There's no Kermit and Miss Piggy. Yeah. Uh, porn there's, stuff there's in here. No, yeah, there's none of that. Yeah. But I mean, there's a lot of sex in there. So, like, going into the movie, were you ready for some hardcore po uh, puppet sex? Yeah. Well, from the trailers, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what they all was marketing, which is like, we're going to sell puppets. puppets. Yeah, it's going to be X rated puppets, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, for, for, the, for laughs. Yeah. So, yeah. so you were, were you, uh, the trailers get you hyped for it? Or? Well, I mean, I went in with a certain amount of expectation, mm -hmm. uh, pretty high. Yeah. Uh, just for what. I was expecting from the trailer that crude kind of movie. humor and stuff right just a lot of uh, toilet humor a lot of crude humor a lot of mature more mature jokes you know yeah. it was not for kids <laughs> so the movie delivered in that respect yeah. yeah i thought that was a high for it um the way it delivered from the trailer and you know i was just expecting something simple mm -hmm. and i thought they wrapped it up pretty good yeah that was a good high for me too i like I, I liked how they they didn't like go over the top i think with nah. like the sex stuff no nah. it was there though. Yeah. yeah and sometimes i'm like wow this is really going into the porn territory yeah. right here like i think they literally copied some of the dialogue from porn yeah but probably other than that like there was a few porn jokes and stuff in mm -hmm. there but like it was more of actual joke telling and stuff yeah no no there was actual humor like mm -hmm. um i was i was laughing yeah i mean i didn't find it uh, I didn't feel like a, too many jokes went on forever mm -hmm. and I thought that the story kept some of the comedy going yeah even while it's the scenes that you see in the trailer I thought they did a good job of making it fresh mm -hmm. and introducing it in a mm -hmm. good way I thought so uh, pretty good parody and sad uh, I think it was more of a satire of uh, film noir yeah yeah because they they pulled a lot of crazy jokes during mm -hmm. some of those like uh, pastiche moments that are in film noir and detective fiction yeah uh, any other highs yet I like the puppet direction too. I mean, it is the Henson people, so right. you know it's going to be. They deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they deliver. They look like they just seamlessly move them on their own and stuff. Right. Like something robotic or something. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I didn't even know how they were doing it. Yeah, the show, that's why he stayed for the, the ending scenes, of it. Yeah. Right. It shows some behind the scenes. I, I had no clue how they were doing mm -hmm. that. It looked, it just looked so good. Yeah, yeah I, I can't tell that there's wires mm -hmm. or anything on this. Hey, I don't, I couldn't tell anything. Yeah, I was just <laughs> like, maybe man. they just got people inside the puppet suits yeah. or something. Uh, I was just like, man, I don't, you know, great job. Yeah. You know, um, and I like how technology is aiding a lot of these kinds of off kilter kind of films or mm. films in different mediums. This is essentially like a film that incorporated a different medium, you yeah. know, like all the Muppets films. Uh, puppetry is like a different, uh, it's considered a different medium from a mm. live action film. And I like how technology, I was saying, is helping that and uh, Claymation with the, the Lyra company. Yeah. And so uh, it's just fun seeing that mm -hmm. in like all types of films. This was a comedy film and they had a lot of technological stuff going on yeah that was good and i also i think got like a high from like i think performances in the movie were good too mm -hmm. like melissa mccarthy if you've seen her some of her other works that she does for her husband like if you, maybe this year you've seen life of the party which to me is the worst movie of the year easily yeah like she did not try it all in that movie but in this movie she's not with her husband so <laughs> she's directed by somebody right and he actually directed her i think quite well like her jokes were actually funny she didn't rely on like a lot of the crude humor that she just does with she follows no, like and stuff. I thought she was a character. Yeah. Rather than like a cartoon or a caricature. Mm -hmm. Like so. doing what she wanna do and stuff. Right. Like, in her other films she'd be doing. And they uh I like how they built up the relationship between uh Detective Edwards and uh Phil, Phil Phillips. Phillips. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought they had a nice bit of banner. This is actually 
one of the better buddy cop films yeah. I've seen in a while. I like how um, they focus more on Phil too. I thought they were gonna focus more on Melissa mm-mm. from the trailer. No, they, like, they made more buddy cop, but it was, more, it was his story. Right. So. They didn't make that Godzilla slash Transformers mistake of yeah. focusing too much on what the gimmick isn't, which yeah. is the people. They, the puppets are the gimmick. <laughs> make it about the puppets. Yeah. Yeah, and he had a whole nice story after that thing. Mm-hmm. I think uh, Bill did a nice job with playing Phil. I thought so too. Yeah, yeah, he was he was really good. But he's yeah. used to playing a puppet because he's like uh, a lot of like a lot of the Muppets stuff. Yeah, right? from what I've seen, he's got over twenty years experience with this Henson company mm-hmm. doing other Muppets films. So well, I guess that's why they brought him on and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> uh, great lead. Yeah, great yeah. lead. Any other highlights you got from the movie? Uh, that was pretty much it. What about Downers? You, uh, Downers? I'm pretty sure you got something from. Well, yeah, this may be because I've been doing DJ. I mean, I record DJ shows. And um, I've been in a club for like the last five days <laughs> or in like loudspeakers for the last five days. So I thought the mixing was poor in terms of the volume. Yeah, there was, it, it kind of felt like they was on sets. In the beginning, uh, it was very like in the beginning, I was like, I really can't even hear them and no mm-hmm. one's laughing. Like, you know, not, no one, there's no extra noise. Yeah. And I thought I was having trouble hearing. I thought I would have more trouble hearing them. But throughout the film, I think it got a little bit better. Yeah. I so think, I have to really knock this out mix it on that. Yeah. Yeah, and I think like some of the story stuff was weak as well. Like mm-hmm. you don't expect no groundbreaking detective story and right. stuff. Like, but it takes like a lot of similar twists you used yeah, to and it, stuff. It was just a very simple, very easy story, mm-hmm. very basic. Um, then they kind of I think tried to force in like the puppets being a second tier of people and stuff. Right, kind of like social, how Bright did. Yeah, with the orcs. You just said it. Yeah, um, and it didn't work in that movie. I don't think it really worked that much in this movie. Well, they were trying to joke about it, but it, I think it missed the mark. Just like how Bright missed the mark trying to be serious about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> And I hated like uh, the story where they try to give Melissa McCarthy's character, mm-hmm. where she's struggling dealing with like a situation where she's thinks she she's a, half. Yeah, she has a, well, she has a medical problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not really that big of a deal. She has an yeah. artificial organ that's like mm-hmm. a puppet, and she's like, yeah. I'm, I, people treat me differently because I'm half puppet and half human. Yeah. I'm like that doesn't. I actually didn't catch that as much as you did. <laughs> yeah, but when you said it, I was like, well, yeah, they were making that a big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like that you're technically not even half puppet. You just got yeah. an organ that's puppet. Right. <laughs> that's right. like somebody who has like an artificial heart saying I'm half robot. Yeah, know? exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I think other than a lot of basic stuff, I thought mm-hmm. the story was like the weakest part of the movie. Yeah, I agree. I thought the like the characters were good, but they didn't. I thought the uh, the detective side kind of fell fell apart a little mm-hmm. bit. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah, because they, I mean, does they start doing stuff that doesn't even make sense and stuff towards right. the end of the movie? They're like, we gotta wrap this shit up. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they, they were wrapping it up. And I don't know why, quick. because it was only what an hour and twenty minutes or something. Well, that yeah, because the guy in front of us had one of those smart watches. Yeah, and he kept he kept reaching behind himself and he kept activating the watch. Uh, so I knew I knew what time it was like the whole time. Yeah, mm. and with. Uh, like an hour and ten minutes in, like it was really almost over. Yeah, I was like, whoa. So yeah. it's probably like an hour and thirty minutes with credits. And yeah, it's, it says it's ninety one minutes, like from the open to when the credits roll, yeah. finish rolling. Yeah, I thought it could have been a little bit longer. Maybe fleshed out some more stuff. I thought so. Yeah, um, yeah. At the end, I was shocked that it was so short mm-hmm. because I thought it was good enough to where they could have added more, like you said, other elements to it. Yeah, to really uh, give it something. Uh, I would compare this to. Uh, some of the I've been to some film festivals and like mm-hmm. this would have been a really good film festival entry. Yeah, they probably didn't have that much faith, faith in it though. Right. Uh, no, right. what I mean is like because it's so short because those yeah. those films tend to be shorter because uh, feature film length is considered over forty minutes and mm-hmm. so in festivals if it's like an hour as a feature film. Mm-hmm. So this was short for like Hollywood length. You yeah. Know? But, I mean, SDX does typically do like smaller kind of films. That's and stuff, true. So. But you know, this they, like you said, they could have helped the story with some extra, an extra five or ten minutes yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I mean, overall, what would you rate it though? Ah, I'd have to give this like a pretty high Reggie. Um, it made me laugh. It met my expectations mm-hmm. as far as uh, the gimmick with the puppets and stuff. And I thought that the effects surrounding the puppets was really nice. Uh, I got a knock it for some of the sound mixing though. Um, let me, uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about some of the sound mixing. If you, if you're into that stuff, or maybe your ears are just going up. Or maybe my ears are shot. When you get old, yeah. So. <laughs> maybe my ears are shot, but uh, ultimately, yeah, I was, I was really pretty high Reggie. Yeah, I agree with you. I'll give it some Reggie and stuff mm-hmm. too. Like if you've seen the trailers and you liked what you saw in that, and you like that kind of black kind of humor right there, right? You're gonna like this movie and you're gonna have a good time with it. But if you're like one of the people who are on the fence, like once you saw the trailer, you're like, wow, mm-hmm. this is really stupid. This movie gonna be really stupid because there's a lot of that stuff in this movie. Yeah, because I would say that there were only half of the people laughing. Mm-hmm. Like one half thought it was hilarious, all the potty humor. Yeah. Uh, and the other half was kind of like, this isn't funny. Yeah. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Sausage Party. Yeah. Like, that kind of split the. Now that, that was considered a better story. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's a yeah, better story. Yeah, it had so. a better story, but 
the um it was, it was pretty divisive yeah. like a lot of people were like oh this was hilarious and smart and mm -hmm. other people were like this is crude and crazy and what is this yeah and you can tell that that's kind of what this was moving was going mm -hmm. for it's like we know we're just puppets and mm -hmm. it's kind of stupid so we're just going to embrace that aspect right. so and I, I appreciate it for that kind right of yeah so i would just compare it to sausage party in that absurd kind of realm mm -hmm. uh but it, it fell short of that yeah so that's why i give it that but i mean hey that's just our opinion what we really want to know is what did you guys think of the happy time murders were you ready to see some puppets do some R-rated stuff, or was this movie just not for you? Let us know by hitting that comment section below, and be sure to hit that like button, and share this video, it really helps us out. I'm Kay. And I'm A.Rick. And hey, always remember, Blazers.